Okay, so I'm going to make this one quick because uh, I have this, like a sore throat and it might be coronavirus, so I don't want to like get you on that, get everybody sick. Um, but this is, I just wanted to share like my little collection here of uh, all my old CD computer, computer CD games. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot here. I, I go to all these thrift stores and they have like all these old games from when I was a kid, so I just wanted to show these. Um, so I got Lego Island. Um, that one's pretty bad, but I remember I got it from like my grade school book fair once, and when you like open it up, there, it's like a huge, like giant, um, like you you fly through the whole island. And when I was a kid, I was like, I thought I was. I didn't know what being high was or tripping then, but I thought I was tripping. That's probably a pretty realistic representation of what it's like. Backyard football, um, I mean, these are just classics. I, I think I had backyard baseball, I don't know, 2009 or something on the Wii, and it had Poppy Ortiz on it. Papa Ortiz, and yeah, that was just classic. Always choose uh, the little little bald kid, he's the best. This one, oh, Land Before Time, Preschool Adventure, I mean, I actually haven't played this one, but it looks like it'd be pretty good, and Land Before Time, I've seen all those movies like 50 times over, we had the whole collection. Um, third Grade Jumpstart, oh, this one, this is probably the longest game made for kids ever. Like, you have to, you go into this mountain, and then there's this evil, like, eight-year-old girl who's taken over her dad's, like, science mountain. There's all these science experiments, but then there's this robot named Botley or something. He's named Bot something, and he's trying to help you, and then you have to, like, save all the robots. Uh, yeah, Botley. There he is. Um... But yeah, he's he's a robot, and then you make all these robots, but then you have to make like 40 of the robots, and making one of the robots took like an hour, and to a kid that's like a lifetime, so it probably took me like months to beat that game, like playing it every day. Okay, Pajama Sam, if you guys don't know humongous games like Pajama Sam, Freddy Fish, I have a Freddy Fish here, um, and all these games are super cheap too, like because I get them at the thrift store, they're like a dollar, this one is a dollar. I think I got this one at like a game, old game store or something, but they're all really cheap and you should, I mean if you like played any of these games when you were younger, you know what I'm talking about, if you haven't, go get them right now, they're still like amazing. And I think you can get them like on the app store, I don't know if they're any good on there, but um, yeah, these games like, I don't even have to say anything about them, they speak for themselves, they're instant classics, every single one of them is amazing. I played them all like again. Um, in high school, and they're still incredible. Okay, this one, <laughs> this one, I'm not sure. I haven't played it, but it looks very sk like there's just like a dead daughter, and like this guy looks sweaty and bloody. And freeway pile up. Can you save her? Like this is scary. It's real life, real life games too. So this is real, and just like look at. Just look at the, oh, like, this looks scary. I need to play this. Maybe I'll do a Let's Play of that or something. Uh, this is another Backyard backyard Soccer. All those were good. I just remembered Backyard Baseball, you could, like, play it in Area 51. And there would be, like, aliens. Oh, man. This is such nostalgia. Like, uh, Tonka Raceway. I think I bought the wrong one. I think I actually had Tonka Construction, but that was just another faint memory. I think it was, like, this is like is one of those ones that's like you get at McDonald's or something. And oh, if you guys ever play like Zoobies, well, I don't know if that's what it's called, but the little blue guys. And then Scooby Doo Scary Stone Dragon. I actually had Scooby Doo um, Glowing Bugman, which I think yeah, that's right there. Glowing Bugman. Um, this is just it's just a I don't know. Scooby Doo is pretty cool. You feed him Scooby snacks and you have to choose who's the bad guy. But yeah, that's it. And oh. There's one more thing. My laptop doesn't have. Don't pay attention to those cards. My laptop. 
Um, it doesn't have a disk drive, so I had to buy one of these. It's pretty good. You just plug it in the USB and then you put your discs in there. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Pretty much it.